I'm going to match the color of this red maple leaf, and I have Pyrola Red. And if you notice, it's too bright, so you have to dull it down, and I'm going to use Ultramarine Blue. I think I need more color here. So already that's pretty close. That's a pretty good match right there. You can also mix it from Quinacridone Magenta and you just mix it with Cancer Yellow Opaque. And then use the same Ultramarine Blue to make it duller. And you get a similar result. You could lighten that or darken it depending on what part of the leaf you're trying to match, but that's a pretty good overall match. Here's a yellow maple leaf with touches of green in it. I'll see if I can match it with uh, these acrylic paints. This is Hansa Yellow Opaque, and then that looks more orangey to me, so I'll add some pyro red to it. It still looks duller than that, so maybe just a touch of ultramarine blue. Too, that's probably too much, but uh, I'll add a little bit of red in there. And that's a pretty close match to that part of the leaf. And then maybe I'll do some of that green color over there and I'll just add ultramarine blue to it. That's pretty close, I think maybe it needs a touch of white. It's probably too much. That's about right. So there are your fall colors. If you want to learn how to mix colors like this, check out my course where I share my strategies. I cover the materials I use including the colors and the paintbrushes. I'm going to mix the brown of this oak leaf using acrylic paint. So I'll start with Pyrola Red and Hansa Yellow Opaque to make a reddish orange. Then I'll add small amounts of ultramarine blue to make that more brown. It needs more red. I think it needs to go darker and it needs more blue in there. Let's see how that looks. It's pretty close. I'm going to match the color of this radish. So I'd use Quinacridone and Magenta to match it, along with a little bit of red. Maybe just a little bit of ultramarine blue. About right. I could do the green leaf too. Some yellow, that's handsome yellow pink. This is ultramarine blue. I think it needs a little white. It's pretty good. I'm going to mix the color of this onion skin. So I have Hansa Yellow Opaque. And I'll add a little bit of Pyro Red to it. Way too orange. So I need to make that more dull. I'll add ultramarine blue. And I can also see that there's a little bit of magenta in there. It sort of makes it pinkish. And it needs to go lighter. More magenta. White. Depends on what part you compare it to, but that looks pretty good. I'm going to match the dull burgundy of this leaf. So I'll start with some Pyrol Red, Ultramarine Blue. I think that needs some yellow in there. Uh, 
need more red. That's pretty close. Let's see, that's a match. I want to get picky. A little more out the wing blue. And that's right on. What's neat about this leaf is the other side is a light green. So I'll match that one next. I start with hints of yellow opaque, a little bit of ultramarine blue. And this is going to need more white. It needs to go more bluish, more yellow. And then it really needs to be neutralized. And I can see it needs more white. That's a little too much. I think that's getting pretty close right there. It's a pretty close match, but um, if I want to make it super accurate, I would add a hair bit more ultramarine blue. I'm going to match the green interior of a kiwi. So I have Hansi Yellow Opaque, Ultramarine Blue to make it green. I think I need more paint on my palette, so I'll add a little bit more yellow. It's pretty good, it needs to go lighter though, so a little titanium white. Pretty close match. I'll match the color of the flesh of this avocado. So I'll start with fancy yellow opaque, titanium white. A little bit of pyro red to make it a little bit orangey. And then I think just a touch of ultramarine blue. I think that's a pretty good match. Maybe a little bit of white. Probably went too dark. It's starting to oxidize, I gotta make some guacamole. I'm going to match the color of this pit of the avocado. So I'll start with red. This is pyro red. A little bit of orange to make a reddish orange. And then to get the brown, you add blue to it. So this is ultramarine blue. Needs a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. It's pretty good. A little bit more blue, I think. I'd say that's a match.